Did you watch the story of when a caller called up the anchor on the Z Business Hindi channel and tells him that I have found 20,000 shares of MRF which belong to my grandfather and I'm not sure what I should do with it. He had no idea that the value of those shares was a whooping 130 crore of rupees. To understand how we reached there, watch this video all the way till the end. Hi, my name is Harshwadhan Dawar, founder of Wealth Cafe, where we help you make smart money decisions. It was in 2017 that on a regular day for the anchor at Z Business Hindi channel, he gets a call from a caller saying that he has found 20,000 shares of a company called MRF, which were bought by his grandfather way back in 1990. The reason he happened to find those shares was he was helping his grandfather who was ill. He was taking care of him. And while going through his belongings, he happened to come across those physical share certificates of MRF. And the total number of shares he held that time were 20,000. So he calls up the anchor and asks him as to what he must do with the shares. And while the anchor is trying to give him advice on how he must convert those into uh, the dematerialized form, because the rules had changed in the last 20, 27 years, the anchor realizes that in 2017, the value of MRF share was about 65,000 rupees per share and the value of the shares which the caller was calling for was actually worth an amount of 130 crores. His grandfather would have bought the shares way back in 1990 when the value of the share was a double digit number and it was actually for an investment of under 5 lakh rupees and in a period of 27 years till 2017, the value of the shares grew to this huge amount of 130 crores. So if you were to ask the question of how did this happen, I think I have a very simple answer to it. It was because no one knew what was the value of those shares. No one knew that those shares existed. And because no one knew those shares existed, no one touched that investment for the entire duration of 27 years. And since it turned out to be a company which grew over this period of time, it was a very good company for his grandfather to buy and hold, the value of the share bloomed to this huge amount of 130 crores. Had the person's son or grandson been aware that he holds those shares of MRF, it is highly possible that maybe in the year 2000 or 2005, when the shares were worth a few lakh of rupees, he would have been tempted to go ahead and sell it. Because nobody knew that those shares existed, those shares were allowed to compound for that entire duration of 27 years and result in a value of 130 crores. And that is why you must never sell your equity investments. If you are an investor who's put his money into the various instruments, whether it's equity, real estate, gold, or deposits, you very well understand that equities are the most riskiest asset class because that is the asset class that sees maximum fluctuation. So when you put your money in an asset class like equity, when you buy equity share, you expect to get good returns from it but there is a huge amount of risk associated with investing in equity shares. The only way you can reduce the risk of investing in equity is by holding equity for a long period of time. Now, what do you mean by long period of time? It is not five years, it's not 10 years. It is anywhere in upward of 15 years. When you hold your equity shares for such a long period, the probability that you will make a loss in the equity market is 0%. When you look at the charts of equity stocks on a daily basis, you see the fluctuation in value. So if you look at how the markets have performed in the last 20, 30 years, you will find that there are multiple times when the markets have fallen by 10%, 15%, 25%, 30% in a very short duration. But eventually once the market fall, they recover and continue on their journey towards growth with these intermittent falls. If you as an investor can tie through these falls, if you are not going to be affected by them, you know that the company you're invested in is a good, well-researched company and that it is not its fundamentals are not going to get affected because of the fall in the market values that you see, then you will be able to realize this huge amount of compounding, like the example that we saw where the person did not know the stocks existed. So he was able to let them grow for a period of 27 years and realize the huge compounding benefit over this period of time. But then that requires a lot of discipline from your side as an investor, a lot of 
a restraint from your side as an investor to not sell the share when you see a small sign of profit in the shares or not to sell the shares when they double in value or triple or maybe even go up five times. If you are an investor who has invested in a well-researched stock, if you are an investor who has bought a stock and you are not dependent on that particular portfolio to meet your day-to-day -day requirements or to meet your portfolio requirements, you should never sell your equity stock. And when you take the decision to never sell your equity investment, you are taking a decision to let that money stay invested, let that money compound over a period of time. Again, what I mean by over a period of time, it's not 5, 10 years, it's actually 15, 20, 30 years, 40 years. When you let your money compound for such a long period of time, you will see the magic or you will see the value which your portfolio can grow to. So if you are able to fulfill these two conditions that you are investing in a very well researched stock, and second, you do not need the money from your portfolio. Your earnings are taking care of all your day-to-day -day requirements. You should take this decision to never sell your equity investment. So if you have a friend or a colleague around you who's thinking of selling his stock only because it has doubled in value, share this video with him so that he can understand that if it is a well-researched stock, if it is a good solid company, that is something he must hold on to. And do like, share and subscribe our channel for freshly brewed content on every Wednesday and Saturday from Wealth Cafe.